My name is Kishan Kumar Singh, Head of the Multilateral Environmental Agreements at the Ministry of Planning and Development in Trinidad and Tobago. The Government of Trinidad and Tobago approved a national climate change policy that deals with the pursuance of a low carbon development plan for Trinidad and Tobago. And further to implementing that policy, developed a carbon reduction strategy which speaks to mitigating or reducing greenhouse gas emissions from three sectors, the power generation sector, the transportation sector, and the industrial sector. That strategy has been approved by the Cabinet of Trinidad and Tobago, and we are here today to roll out the implementation plan for that strategy, which seeks to reduce emissions by 15%, cumulative emissions from the three sectors, by 15% by the year 2040. Trinidad and Tobago has also submitted to the United Nations its contribution or its commitment to reducing emissions that was gleaned from the carbon reduction strategy. And therefore, implementing the carbon reduction strategy will invariably subsume the implementation of the intended nationally determined contributions, as it is known, uh, which is the commitment to the United Nations. We are therefore here today to finalize the implementation plan or the roadmap for the carbon reduction strategy which will see the fulfillment in part, at least, of the national climate change policy, which seeks to develop a low carbon development path for Trinidad and Tobago. What that means is that economic growth will now be decoupled to some extent, if not totally, from economic growth, uh, which Trinidad and Tobago depends on in the energy sector. This uh, reduction in greenhouse gas emissions will see uh, improvements in air quality, for example, uh, which will again go further to the redounding of uh, benefits to the society in cleaner air quality, uh, greater health benefits. Uh, it will also see more efficient use of energy, uh, greater energy security, and of course, uh, the, all of this will be down to the general well-being of the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago in the long term, and certainly in the short and medium term, when we see some of these actions that we determine here today are implemented. The carbon reduction strategy was finalized in 2011 and began implementation in 2012, that is, uh, developing the strategy in 2012. Therefore, its approval in 2015 uh, was the culmination of three years of work that saw the development of baselines and scenarios, um, developing data, getting information, uh, projecting scenarios, what intervention options might be feasible uh, to reduce emissions uh, by 2040. And so this uh, final workshop uh, in the series of workshops and consultations that we've had with, with, with stakeholders and, and members of the public is to agree on what actions can be taken to reduce emissions consistent with the strategy in the short, medium and the long term.